Hey guys, today is October 3rd, a uh, Monday, and you can hear my fan. Hold on. So this is just sort of a housekeeping video of me catching up on all the stuff and commenting on people's video because I don't have that much more to say on speaking stuff except for the fact that Dana mentioned that she uses sounds when she's talking a lot, just like has like conversational sounds, and I know what you're talking about because I do that too. Especially when I don't know the words for things like I say a lot. Like I don't have a specific sound. I tend to use like I you I know what you're talking about and I use them. Like I tend to say like I or it it doesn't make sense unless you're actually having a conversation with me. But I know what you're talking about. And another thing I forgot to mention is I end a lot of my sentences with so, which you guys would not know because when I'm making videos I tend to edit that out. Also, I don't use tend to do this when I'm in, talking in videos, but when I'm having like conversations with people, I tend to start my sentences off with the phrase no, and like no, and then I start my conversations. Like my friend Molly will be like, oh, I was having like peanut butter, butter and Nutella and I was like no I was having peanut butter and uh, cinnamon and marshmallow and it was really good and like saying no my story is better so yeah that's something I do <laughs> there I did the so yeah thing I have not had any of my teachers ban me from saying certain things however my theater production teacher uh, Big John is threatening to ban me from talking about Doctor Who in class because uh, apparently I talk about it a lot. You would have to ban me and my friend Dan from talking about Doctor Who in class. Speaking of Doctor Who, I was over at Dan's house because he gets BBC America and the finale was so amazing! However, we were watching with my friend Molly who has not seen all of Doctor Who. She just started a couple weeks ago so she's seen the ending part of series 6 and she, I made her watch the very first episode of the reboot and that's all the Doctor Who she's seen and so she kept making us pause it and explain things and it's like we can explain it all to you you're just gonna have to go with it and then she'll be asking us questions like oh who is that is that that person and it was like I don't know I haven't seen the episode yet Molly but <laughs> I know she watches my videos so she's gonna make fun of me for that I know last week I asked if any of you guys had homecoming uh, I know Dana was saying that homecoming wasn't as big of a thing at her high school, where basically it was just the homecoming football game, whereas homecoming is sort of a big deal at our high school for some reason. Maybe because our school is really into the all oh, school spirit, yay thing, I don't know. Well, we had a pep fest the first week of school, which announced the homecoming candidates, and then it had like two weeks, and then we voted for them, like who the homecoming king and queen was. The beginning of homecoming basically starts with the coronation of the king and queen from who we voted for, whoever had the most votes. And it isn't like girlfriend and boyfriend usually. It's sort of like there's, I think, six guys nominated and six girls nominated. And then whichever guy, and you vote for whichever guy you want for homecoming and whichever girl you want for homecoming. And the entire school is allowed to vote, but only seniors can nominate to be homecoming kings and queens. And so people vote. And then homecoming week is sort of like a school spirit week, and so we had school spirit stuff. Like Monday was tie-dye and neon day. Tuesday was, I want to say, backwards day, where you like wore your clothes backwards and stuff. Wednesday was like team and sports days. Thursday was pirate, not pirate day, it was nautical day, but I made myself a paper pirate hat that had the DFTBA thing on it. I'm actually going to go see if I can find that. Hold on. So I can't find it, but for Nautical Day I made a pirate's hat out of newspaper and I taped the DFTBA skull and crossbones thing on there during the Nerdfighter symbol and it said Nerdfighters under it. And my friend Molly thought it was really cool. Um, actually it'll be in my locker at school. And then Friday was school colors day and we had short in class period so at the end of the day we could have a pep fest which was... I don't like Pet Fest that much. However, I did have a lot of fun at the Pet Fest because I got to do spots um, with my friend Dan and Becky for like the Pet Fest. So we were standing, uh, Dan and I were standing on the top row of one side of the bleachers in the gym and Becky was standing on the other side of the bleachers in the gym. And we got to wear like headset. Well, I got to wear a headset and Becky got to wear a headset. 
and it went like in our ear and it had a receiver and it was like so that way we could hear them like queuing and being like spots go and it was really really fun however they had becky and i are like two of the shortest people on tech crew i do actually think becky's the shortest i'm like the second or third shortest so tall people were in front of me and i had a hard time getting it like over them and so i basically like stood with it on top of my head for a lot of it, it was like on my tiptoe on my tiptoes but it was a lot of fun and it was I, I felt like cool and official and then I helped strike and it was fun. But the pet fest itself wasn't really peppy, no one seemed to be that into it this year. Uh, and then Friday night was the football game which I did not go to because it's football. Nah. And most of my friends weren't going to the football game either and the rest of them are in marching bands so I didn't. And then Friday night was the homecoming dance which I did not go because it involves dresses and icky stuff. Also, it was the Doctor Who finale, so my friend and I were watching Doctor Who, as I already said. So I got, I know I got really behind on like people's questions and stuff, and I remember that one of them was the YouTubers you watch, so I guess I should just list them off. I mean, it's sort of like the ob uh, obligatory uh, Vlogbrothers, um, all of Chameleon Circuit, so Charlie, Alex, Liam, Eggplant. I like Tom Milson even though he's a little weird. Uh, Lilies are like because she's always sweet. I like Bri on tour because it, it amuses me. My friend makes fun of me because I tend to only watch British YouTubers for some reason. Which isn't actually true. I do watch some American YouTubers like Elmify is one of my favorites ever. <laughs> Especially her multiple personality people where she has like the five-year-old version of her and then her outgoing version of her. It's a um, really funny if you haven't seen it. Um, I also watch uh, Christina Horner and Luke Connard. I watch uh, Michael, Ar uh, Michael Aranda or Aranda, I'm not sure how you say his last name. Uh, the other two that I watch a lot is um, Jacob Aller because he has really interesting and funny videos. They're a little bit like Vlogbrothers videos but they aren't quite as informative and he doesn't talk as fast. Also he has these interesting things at the end where he always talks about like overheard conversations that he heard people talking about that make totally no sense especially out of context. So that's always funny and then another person I watch is uh, Nerds RL which is about Cassandra who basically vlogs every day and talking about her life and stuff which sounds really really dull but when you watch it, it you get sucked into it. And Cassandra is also the person who I got the how good and so good from because that's sort of like the thing she says in her videos. I know Sam you said you got a book signed by the honorary uh, real John Green. <laughs> honorary. By an honorary Green sister. And I am very jealous. I have read a summary thing. of the, Not really a summary. Uh section of the book it was online and it was really really good and I was really excited for it to come out but I'm not into buying books because I tend to only read books once or twice and I have to wait for it to go to the public library or the school library or just wait until the summer or winter break when I get more Barnes and Noble gift card. Punishments! Um, I sort of like the idea of punishments for not uploading a video however I would feel sort of bad if you guys all got punishments and I don't because I make mine on the weekend so I guess I might have to just sort of depending on how many you how you guys get punished I might have to just sort of be like I voluntarily punish myself because I would feel really bad getting to watch you guys suffer simply because you guys only have one day making videos and I tend to be able to have two. Also I know Bill was talking about how we have a new Tuesday and I think you said her name was, uh, and I think you said it was a girl named Alex. I hope you don't get cursed by the Tuesday spot, Alex. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you. I don't really know who you are though, so, <laughs> um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, DFTBA.